Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for providing your great support to my channel. Today we are going to see a new series of tutorials. In this tutorial we are going to start the learning on Kubernetes. We are going to see the step-by-step -step process to set up Kubernetes locally on CentOS machine using Minikube. The overall process is little complicated, we need to update the CentOS configurations, set up Docker, install VirtualBox, install kubectl, can track and finally Minikube. I hope you are going to enjoy this video, so let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, like the video, share and comment. To start, I am using a CentOS 7 machine. You need to have a machine with minimum 2GB of RAM, 2 CPU and 30GB of disk space. I will go through the each steps one by one, you can check the video description for the GitHub location from where you can copy paste the commands. The first step is to disable SE Linux, disable swap and disable firewall. Run the commands as you see on the screen or copy the commands from GitHub location. Ok great, we are done with the first configurations. Now let's move on to the next step, which is installing Docker on CentOS. Follow the commands to install Docker, start the Docker and create Docker as service. That's cool. We have completed the installation of Docker as well. Let's move on to the next step which is to install the virtualization software. I am using Oracle VirtualBox. This process will take some time to complete the installation as we need to download around 500 to 600 megabytes of data. Follow the commands from my GitHub location.
Ok great. The installation of Oracle VirtualBox is also completed. It's time to install kubectl. Follow along. Ok we are almost done, the kubectl installation is completed as well. The next step is to install Contrac. Contrac is a prerequisite for new version of Kubernetes. It may not be needed for old version of Kubernetes. After the Contrac installation, we will do the installation of Minikube as well. That's awesome! The installation of Minikube is also completed. To start the Minikube, let's run the command Minikube start with argument driver none. As you can see the Minikube starting is failed with error. The error is related to IP tables, and I did wanted you guys to see this error as you also may face this issue in your setup. To fix the issue run the following command. Now let's start the Minikube again.
That's great. We have the Minikube running. Let's check the status of Minikube and also check the cluster info. As we have the Minikube configured, now we will be able to create deployments, create services, replication controller, replication set etc. in Kubernetes. We will be seeing more about these in upcoming tutorial. Minikube setup can be used for your development environment, not as a production setup. We will also see in future tutorials how to configure Kubernetes using multiple machines. To summarize, we have seen the step-by-step -step process to install the Minikube and its supporting applications. We have also seen if you get the error when starting Minikube related to IP table, how to fix the error. I hope this tutorial is informative for you and thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video, share and comment.